I'm here at Overland Expo West in line waiting for a camping spot so we're in the registration line well it's uh, Thursday morning uh, check-in day at uh, Overland Expo West here I am with Nima in a um, old uh, racetrack so we're in the waiting line here having our morning breakfast uh, uh, breakfast uh, here I am breakfast uh, beverage so um, it's now well we got here at eight o'clock or something eight eight thirty well check-ins not till 11. No, we got here like earlier earlier we were done with seven yeah we got seven. here at like 7 45. about 7 45 but check-in for the overland experience ticket holders is at eight o'clock so i guess they let those folks in and start mingling with all the uh, exhibitors or what have you or i guess they need to have the experience i guess they uh uh let them in early well we opted not to pay for uh, that option so we're just here for the uh, camping and the show so they let us in at uh, 11 o'clock so they corral us all into this uh, racetrack here and uh, so we're just waiting for our turn we're here with the riffraff <laughs> <Yeah, we're laughs> and Nima says we're here with the riffraff so we're just uh, out here just uh, passing time and uh, waiting to get into the show and once we get in and uh, we'll give you kind of a, a tour uh, of all the vehicles coming in and, and going and I'll try to post a daily video uh, of all the days so of course the show officially opens tomorrow on Friday and today is just check-in and uh, uh, we'll be uh, walking around the grounds and kind of give you a show a, a preview of uh, all the guys in the campground so uh, stay tuned So it's September 23rd and we're here waiting in line to get into the Overland Expo 2021. There are a number of vehicles that are here and we are going to be let in at uh, 11. We, get, we, were, we got here at 7.30 <laughs> and they were already in uh, line. We did the right thing to come here early uh, because we're not that far from the entrance and there are not that many vehicles in front of us. So but we're gonna have to wait like three hours. <laughs> Arms out, hang this in and out. If you're going to be in and out, just okay. wear that or have that at all times. All right. There's a magazine for you. Thank you. Stick your hands out and we'll take care of you, okay? Not too tight, please. Yeah, no worries. Hey, see you around. Good luck. That's it? Yes, sir. Go this way, right?
Uh, then there is another line. This we're not done with lines. All right, I'm two cars behind you. I'm behind the red car. No, it's getting a traffic jam. I'll talk to you in a minute. Use the trash cans. The showers are now open. Okay. If you have something big for trash, lay it beside the can. All right, now we can camp anywhere, or is there? No, you follow these guys. Follow. They'll tell you where to go. Thank you. It's gonna be tight. All right, yeah, of course. I figured it would be sardines. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. So, where is a good place to camp? They're gonna tell you. Oh, we. Yeah, we, we gotta just, we gotta keep fire lanes open. We can't let people just park wherever they want. I so would imagine. they're gonna let you know and I'm just slowing people down to make sure it doesn't get too congested up sure, there. Sure, sure. And where are the showers? The showers are actually right back in that see those white. Oh, those, those, those are showers. They're gonna be in a good spot for the for the for the showers. All right, good, good, good. And then your camp host is right there. That that you I don't know if you can see that vehicle, that forerunner way back to your right. That's oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Host right there. there. Okay. Where are you from? Chicago. Where? Chicago. Oh, where at? I'm born and raised. Really? Uh, Pilsen. No clue. Pilsen is um, uh, near West Side. It is uh, uh, by UIC. I'm out northwest suburbs, Barrington, oh, okay, that, okay. that area. But just no, that's not this... Chicago, my friend. Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah. We're all, the <laughs> only people Chicago. from Chicago would say that. Right? That's right. I have to clarify very quickly. Yeah. That's why I say, yeah. Uh, but yeah. And get a sunny spot, that would be awesome. Sunny level. <laughs> sunny. Like around there. Uh, yeah, how about like around sunny. here would be good? What do you What's think? That? Around here would be good? What so do you we're think? Gonna, we're going to try to load up against that fence and then work our way this way. Okay. And up there. How about if I hang over here? What do you think? You can go next to me? Would that work for you? Yeah, I gotta go around these trees though. Well, east to Well, good morning. Today is uh, Friday, the 24th of September, first day of Overland Expo West. So we just made breakfast. So sorry about the mess. I'm having some eggs and Canadian bacon. Nima is behind me. He's already done enjoying his coffee. I, uh, I cooked breakfast today, so I got cleanup duties. So uh, we're waiting for the show to open at eight o'clock. What time is it now? About 7.30 or so. So we're gonna take it easy. We're gonna clean up and uh, probably head on to the show about nine o'clock. So we'll uh, report back from there. Stan and I are doing our 10 minutes trek to the show. We went there yesterday and kind of checked it out. 
little bit but today is the official day and we're gonna be walking and looking at stuff a lot of stuff there's a lot of things here There's Christian's. Yeah, there are some minor booths talking with customers. This is where it all started, folks. Here's his Jeep. And uh, I saw his YouTube channel, which convinced me to buy the top for my Jeep. You know, because you're like, well, I'm on this floor. I'll give you a tour of his. Yeah, whatever. You want to visit his channel? It's right there. Adventure Four Wheel Drive. Make it easier to use if you go to use the car. Once this thing goes under load, the noose is really tight around the knot. So because of how rigid the sides are, you can always grab that. But you have to, you know, you've got to work them in order to make it a little bit easier. Fine leather jacket. Exactly, exactly. Let me get, let me grab the other one. Here's the 67 Designs booth. I use all their products to mount my uh, phones and iPad cameras all on the dashboard. So I just bought a couple more mounts for my GoPro. So pretty good, solid stuff. Highly recommend. Here's the front runner booth. I have their camping chairs. Awesome, very comfortable camping chairs. Awesome. Nice products, good company to deal with. Thought I'd give you guys a quick uh, overview of my camp setup this morning. So here's my Jeep, and there's Nima's Jeep next to me. There's the path that leads to the expo. So everyone walks past my Jeep. And uh, there's Nathan Kramer He's doing breakfast from Kramer Junction. So we actually got an excellent camp spot because we're backed up to a fence. So here's our camp, little breakfast table. There's my camp kitchen set up. Awning. And in the back. Nemo set up, there's my neighbors. On the other side of the fence are all the vendors. All right, here I have the show, so since it's an overlanding show, they even have motorcycles. I figure I'd show you the Harley Davidson stuff here. Thank you. You like Ryder, man? No. Let me keep my iPad. We're going to send a picture to Martha and Kevin Penny. I was just asking, we're doing a free demo. Right, right, right. So. Well, some of the trails I go to, it looks like you know, the Transylvania Trail. We'll do it on the bike. I always have a lot of respect. Right? I get tired just on the forward. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. Some guys are sitting and, and, and not balancing. Right. Uh, 
<laughs> okay, here's here's Nima on the new Harley Pan American. We'll turn him into a motorcycle rider here in a minute. What do you think, Nima? Is that in your budget next year? I don't know, man. I have hard enough time on four wheels. You gonna sell your Jeep? There's the Harley reps. I tried to talk with them, but they wouldn't give me an official interview for obvious reasons. I gotta go through their PR department, which is cool. They're outside. But when you get home, this material is um, really, really easy to just close out and clean out. So, so you can just set the things out. So, so and GoTrans just came out with the XL version. This is their original version. They, they added an extra tread, so if you have bigger tires on your rig, and I always freak out when I load a pot when the handle comes like. This is the Moscow Moto booth. Awesome luggage bags. I used to use those on my motorcycle when I used to ride. And there's the owner of my school. But there were some places, yeah, but now that is way cool. You got what? Four, five, six, seven, eight bicycles. I bet I bet that works would work awesome for a couple of motorcycles on the back of a Cheap or something. Come on by the all yellow case of witness the market exotic challenge. We are beginning to make great conditions back. Dominic's off road here. So we got quite a few cool things that are kind of uh, unique to our app. So one of the cool things with ours is they actually have the ability to filter by ride type. So you can just click this dirt mode and you can use snow mode if you want to do snowmobiles. Or you can segment by full size rig, UTV, uh, Jeep trails, or single track moto trails. Another cool thing with our app is it has guidebook descriptions in it. So a lot of the other services, you kind of have to cherry pick some stuff, import it in, and do all that. We do our best to kind of bake everything into one app. And then on top of that, too, is we have rec points. So all the information you could ever want about camping, you can find BLM land. Uh, we have private land boundaries in our elite level. Um, it, the list goes on and on. There's so many amazing things, and one of the best things we try for is making it very user friendly. So you'll find that our app is actually the most easy to use out of any of the others. So give it a try. Seven day free trial on onyxoffroad.com. No credit card needed. We're not about that. So try it out and uh, let us know what you think. Um, they're re geared already, so I'm just trying to go over it. That's what we're at. Hold on, hold on. We have a JL to our with a standard 37. Like we did the little uh, RBC from all the I wanted to tell you guys about my new hat. So I really wanted to build a lightweight, functional, overland kitted hat. 
So we started with the Nitto. I really wanted to go with the Flex Fit, but having the adjustable band in the back was probably more functional in this case. We've got the worn winch here with the hyperlink shackle and worn fair lead. Um, we actually gutted the motor. It could be functional, but it's not because it's more lightweight. So I'm gonna wear this around all day and be comfortable. These are the Max Tracks. Yep, I can't remember which side they are. Max Tracks Extremes, you can see I made the Sharpie dots here. That indicates that they're the Extremes with the replaceable pins, just like you'll see on the Jeep. And then of course we gotta have some extra fuel. And of course we gotta keep it legal. We got the down to mob license plate. All right, that is awesome. So that's my first Overland build hat and I'm pretty stoked with it. We've been rocking it most of the day. We'll put some miles on it. All right, awesome. Yeah. You're gonna winch, just to winch up the spare tire on this thing. Look at the sides of this thing. I have no clue what you would do with a truck like this size in the United States. All right, this is a video, and guess who showed up at camp? Hi. Here's uh, Candy <laughs> from uh, Chicks Do It Too Chicks fame. Do it too. fame. <laughs> so uh, tell us a little bit about yourself. Oh, my name is Candy Skihan. Uh, my Instagram is Chicks Do It Too. I'm here at the DIY Showcase at Overland Expo West in Flagstaff with yeah. my adventure dog, Duke. <laughs> oh, and there's little Duke down there. <laughs> Always with me. So, and where are you based out of? Las Vegas, Nevada. Oh, there you go. So, <laughs> all right, everybody, give her a follow. Like, subscribe, all that other stuff. You know how that works. All right, thanks. Peace. Beep. Okay, today's Sunday, the 26th, the last day of the expo. And uh, we're heading back to the rigs. And I don't know if you can tell, but it's raining. So everybody's it's getting out of Dodge. Right, and they're predicting even harder rain later. So the show's pretty much ended. And uh, yeah, and I... It was a awesome show, I think. Very productive for the two of us. Yeah. And what do you think, Nima? Yeah, I didn't think I would enjoy it as much as I did. And, uh, you know, just talking to all the vendors directly, you know, they, uh, that was that was really good. It was a lot of good information. We got, we got to meet uh, Chris Johns. We got to meet some other people that are really cool. Right, we some other Ursa Minor owners that are really awesome people. That was probably one of the neatest things. Yeah. We got to meet a lot of the other uh, YouTubers. We got to meet a lot of the people we interact on uh, the Facebook groups and uh, that we follow on YouTube, then, as well as the other Ursa Minor owners. And it was kind of cool. Then also we got lucky to have really nice awesome camp neighbors and they turned out to be really cool they treated us with uh, homemade enchiladas last night and a lot of great conversations right and i might have a uh, we might have a a a hookup a hookup to go to alaska next year which is which i'm looking forward to if that pans out it would be a really awesome trip right so, and there and the neighbors are uh Colorado natives. Right, and one of them is actually Alaska native, and so it's gonna, they know the roads and all that, and so it, it, a lot of good has so far come out so, of this this visit at the expo, so right. I'm glad we did it, for sure. So right, and that's what these expos are all about. So right. networking, uh, meeting a whole lot of new people, and, uh, and uh, seeing what they're all about and they find out what we're all about and stuff. So if you guys have a chance to attend one of these shows in the future, we highly, highly recommend it. Yes. So, all right. Well, until then, we'll see you guys later. All right. Thanks. And that's it for Overland Expo West 2021. 
It was a great show for me. If you have a chance to visit one of these shows, I highly recommend it. Thanks for following along on my adventures and see you next time. Bye-bye.